Hey, what's up everyone? Derek with Campus Waterfowl here. I am at Iowa State University. This is our fourth stop of our collegiate waterfowl tour. We got a very loud bus in front of us, so we're right by the student union here at ISU. This weekend, I brought Peyton Yonke along with me, if hey guys. you guys remember him from our South Dakota State videos just a couple weeks ago. So I brought him along to kind of help out with the video and take some photos. So yeah, it should be a good weekend. We got some great footage of campus. Uh, look forward to sharing the stories of these guys here uh, at ISU. These guys are heavily involved with their uh, Ducks Unlimited chapter here on campus. So uh, we'll be sharing their stories and what they do here on campus to support the Ducks. So stay tuned throughout this week and next week. Uh, videos will be coming from this weekend at Iowa State. I told you. Just throw them in here, Grant. Oh! Oh! Hi, my name is Hunter Zwert. I'm a senior here at Iowa State University studying agricultural engineering. I'm also the president of Ducks Unlimited here, which is the longest running university chapter in the nation. Run that J along this side of the hill, kind of. I'd run it like down that way. So then I then put like a big family group out there to the to the west. Yeah. And then once that wind switches, we can pull those birds back, and then when, when that heat, when it comes out of the east a little Pulls more, it it'll be up. open up. It'll open it up. I first got involved my freshman year with a buddy that was also the president, and he kind of took me on for intramural bowling, and we went on a couple of group hunts with the club, and then from there, I just kind of worked with the other group, and then kind of helped grow the club, and then uh, every fall we put on a banquet, and then in the spring we do uh, intramural bowling and a marsh cleanup to get everyone involved. Solo on the left. I'm gonna shoot him. There you go. Oh, what are all the, that's what we've been hearing. Are those crows or geese? Crows. There's a bunch of geese up right there. Oh, uh, there's a crows. There's crows. There's crows. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have my gun on my right pack. Is he hurt. dead? Yeah, who killed him? Yeah, who shot him? <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the other flag? Who's got the other flag? Oh fuck my hand. Yeah, I think they landed out by those silos. They're still up. They're, still... They're up. They're right at that tree line. They don't know what they want to do. So we're headed straight east and now they're turning around. Just waiting on the second flight here. Uh, birds flew kind of early. Uh, they didn't oh, really care for the decoys too much, so we moved them a little bit. And now we're just kind of waiting for them to come back. So That's just how it should be.
He knows we're here now. I'm doing it before it gets too leery. Basically a half mile west of Ames, just showed up to the field here, waiting for everyone to show up with all the decoys and kind of haul everything out there. Should be a good hunt tonight. We don't have a the sled, do we? It's in Max's truck. Yeah. Basically right, there's like that first hill right here, where it dips down. We're doing a hunt basically like, I don't know, probably be like 400 yards off that fence line out. We're gonna put the blinds basically. We're gonna be set more up on the tip side shooting tonight with this one so we don't have to shoot at the road. So I'm gonna get blown away. 